Hey everybody, I got a question about how to graph piecewise functions in Desmos. So that's what I was going to do for you real quick and just give you a demonstration on just how that works. So what you want to do is you want to come down here and let's declare this to be f of x. All right, and we'll say f of x is equal to, we'll open up our set brackets and we'll give it a, a region first. So even though this is the first part we see, when we're reading function notation, our, our piecewise function, that is. This is what we're going to put in first. So we're going to say our function in this region, so when x is less than or equal to, you actually type in the less than symbol and then just press equals on your keyboard, and you'll get that less than or equal to. So when f of x is less than or equal to 1, and I'm going to hit shift colon, and now I'm going to describe how do I get the y coordinate. So According to this, I uh, square the x, multiply by 3, so 3x squared. All right, and then I subtract 2x, so minus 2x. Then I add 1, so plus 1. All right, and so in this region, x is less than or equal to 1. Oops, that should be negative 1. Um, I get this function 3x squared minus 2x plus 1, and zoom out. A little bit so we can see that guy. All right. Now, let me blow this up again so we can see it. Okay. Now, that's the first region. Now, I'm going to go in here after the one right here. I'm going to press comma. And now I'm going to give it this next region. So, from negative one is less than x is less than two colon again, I just get 5. So that little horizontal line segment at 5. And then comma. And the last region is when x is greater than 2, greater than or equal to 2. So x greater than or equal to 2. Um, I get the square root function. So again, it's colon. Say, all right, in this region, this is what I'm going to get. And then square root is SQRT. You get the square root symbol. You can also find it down here in the the keypad, but SQRT is the shortcut there. And then just square root of X. All right, so there is my piecewise function on the interval that, that I was given here, on these different intervals. And on the next line, I can evaluate it. So, uh, for instance, when negative 2 goes in, we don't have quite enough room, but right there, when negative 2 goes in, I get, where was it, right there, 17. So if I were to plug in negative 2 into this function, that tells me I get 17, okay? Uh, when 0 goes in, I should get 5, so f of 0, oops, f of 0, I get 5, okay? It's understanding, and I can now, I actually delete this. I could also go in here to this next line. I can add a table. All right, instead of x1, y1, I'm going to change this from y1 to f of x1. And the way you do that is just type x, and then just whatever the little subscript is here, you just type that number and close it. All right, and now I can just put in any numbers I want as long as they are defined. So like negative 2, uh, 0. 3. All right, that's the square root of 3 is that number. Um, 9. All right, so there, and it's plotting those points so I can see uh, what part they're evaluating them at. So that's how you, it's a little bit awkward to do it. And it's a little bit kind of reversed of the notation that we see, but you tell it this first, colon, and then this part, and then comma, you go to the next line. Tell it this region first, colon, and then the next part. And you can keep adding more and more regions as needed if your function has that many regions defined in it.